Hello, happy Thanksgiving week. I have just got done working out with Phil and then laying in my sauna blanket. I feel like a burrito. I know how that feels now. So I'm gonna blast low legs. I'm gonna stick with my favorite current duo, Pro Blaster, Pro Nugget. I'm running low on oil, so I really need to get some of that soon. Can you tell I've been working my upper legs these last few days? This is where I fell on the concrete like two years ago. So this spot right here has a very big like hard chunk down in there. So I've been working that out and I can now pinch smaller than what it used to be like a couple inches across. I can get about one inch. I still can't pull the skin away yet, but it's definitely breaking the chunks down in there. I'm hitting that point of my oil bottle where I just gotta dump it in my hand. Alright. I've been following the same pattern for everything lately. Pro Blaster, Pro Nugget, Pro, pro Blaster. That is a tongue twister, okay? So I'm pretty warm because I just hung out in the sauna blanket and I've learned since buying this sauna blanket a couple days ago, I don't like to lay still that long, like during the day. I like to sleep in, I like to sleep, but something about laying in the sauna blanket unable to do anything else just makes me feel like I'm wasting my time, right? And that's very much a personality flaw statement right there because obviously it is time well spent warming up because it is going to make my tissue remodeling that much quicker and these tools much more effective. I did not prioritize heating up for years, okay, years. I have not been one to do it because a cold blast is still better than no blast. And I was 90% of the time a shower blaster. You will get warm just using the tools. The friction will heat you up. Heat is preferable, it is helpful, it is beneficial because it is essentially like putting a hot knife through butter. The heat makes it to where the tools are more effective at remodeling faster and you don't have to work through the cold and warming the tissue up manually, okay? So if you can heat, if you have a sauna or have the ability to blast in a hot shower after standing in it for a few minutes, or even if you can blast after a good workout, that internal heat is just as important as external heat, okay? So, it's bonus if you can do it, not the end of the world, do not ruin progress for perfection. You are still going to see changes and results even if you don't heat up, okay? That's my little PSA for you today. I have been doing this for eight-ish years now, so it's about time I prioritize heating. And that is something that I'm really focusing on, hence the reason I got the sauna blanket, because this Pro Nugget is so much deeper and I'm remodeling at such a depth that I know it's going to just make this, like this process, all this bruising, see I got all up my butt over there too. It's just gonna make it so much faster. I'm gonna be able to work through those adhesions and those layers quicker. So I decided to stop whining about not having the time to heat up because nobody has the time to do anything, right? So I'm making the time, okay? Priority now. All right, pro nugget. I just went right into that, right? Just started blasting, but I find Holding it over my shin bone and poking helps so much with my shin splints. From playing tennis, doing this motion so much and all the stopping and starting, my ankles get tight and my shin splints sometimes try to pop up. 
So I'm just gonna poke around the whole bottom part of my leg, my whole calf, and you can kind of see I'm applying quite a bit of pressure. And I, depending on how it feels, like down here is a little numb, so I'm gonna give it a little wiggle. Sometimes I just hold. If I find a spot that is tender, I just push and hold and I just breathe through it. If I find one that feels pretty good or like I've hit a chunk, this is what I personally call skewering the marshmallow. When I find that little marshmallow hidden in there, the meaty, fatty chunk of fascia that's like stuck with fat all wrapped up in it, I give a little extra push and wiggle, work my way through it all the way down to the ankle bone. Now, if you have like sore arches, flat feet, plantar fasciitis, take this, I do it in the shower and I push into the bottom of my foot. Oh, it hurts so bad, but it also hurts so good. And that's what I've been doing with the Pro Nugget on the bottoms of my feet, just kind of pushing and releasing. So that's just a bonus tip for you. I prefer to do it in the shower, you know, clean feet. I can soap up my tools. It just feels a little more cleanly. Now I'm going to just blast with the Pro Nugget. Again, do the pressure for what you can tolerate. It's totally up to you how light you go, how deep you go. The deeper you go, the more likely you are to have some bruising, soreness, so be sure to um, finish with your cryo packs, Arnica, After Blaster Cream, Body Firming Foam, whatever your recovery method of choice is. Dry brushing helps with like flushing out, bruising after you finish. That's why I've been doing PB, PN, PB, because then this is like my quicker flush after. Um, because this tool brings so much redness to the surface, I want that blood to get moving again and not hang out and linger. So we're just kind of, last thing I'm alternating, like my foot flat and up versus down and pointed just because it feels different. This spot right here, right below my knee, but on the edge of my calf, right below where this chunky part inside the knee is, gets so tender. So I know there's something hiding in there. It's just a matter of getting it to come out. Now I'm flexing the muscle and then loosening it, flexing and loosening, because a little muscle activation never hurts anybody but it feels different when you are blasting with the Pro Nugget. A tense muscle tends to feel a little more tender, just FYI. But try it, see how it feels. Listen to your body. If my blasts are too long for you, shorten it. If my blasts are too short for you, lengthen it. Your tools, your body, I am just a guide. Get out of the spot. Whatever is in there, I need you to get out now. So I'm doing some poke and wiggle on it right now while I have my calf flexed, because that seems to really trigger this. Some of it's probably just some leg day soreness from a workout. <sighs> yep, that's enough of that for today. I'm gonna feel that one. All right, Pro Blaster, one more time. This is lighter. This is, I'm not applying pressure. I am doing this to get the blood flow moving out. And that way I can move on to the next leg. And then after you finish, you can always flush with your hands. That is literally just giving yourself a massage with purpose. You are moving in an upward stroke. If you wanna follow the lymph drainage rules of up and long strokes towards the heart, 
it's also a good time to feel for things like right here there's a sore spot right along the edge of my shin here so there is an adhesion right there and I can feel it and when I touch it I can feel the pain down in the top of my foot so there's definitely something there that I'll need to focus on a little more on my next blast because right now it's a little tender so I'm not gonna mess with it I'll mess with it tomorrow <laughs> I'll give it one day off all right let's switch to this side remind me I need to stop procrastinating on that because one of these days I'm gonna come over here and be like I want to do a nice oily blast today and then I'm gonna remember I don't have any oil and that is going to be frustrating all right same routine as the other side even though each side of your body is different some sides I can apply more pressure on others I need to do a little bit lighter it's different every single time. I started on my left leg today. Aren't y'all proud of me? Because usually I start on my right leg and I try to make sure I rotate so that each side of my body gets the fresh arms rotating so that I'm not shrinking the size of my right side but not as equally as my left. my shin on this side. It's crazy. Right here is a little tender. Top of the foot. If you work your feet, tops and bottom, okay? Fascia's on all sides. It's between your little tootsies. It's everywhere. So just make sure you do every side. I'm working on a new PDF printable for you guys. This is me reminding myself to go finish that as soon as we're done here. The idea came to me while I was laying in bed last night and it took all I had not to get up and go start working on it in the middle of the night because it was just a good idea. It was a good idea. So I will have that ready for you guys soon. I will also include the link to get on my email list. And I have to tell y'all one of the coolest things I found today when I logged in to my Modera account because Black Friday's ending soon. The specials and the bundles are about to be gone. So I'm trying to give everybody their final reminders. Because I know we get busy. You see my messages or my comments back. And then you put it in your cart and you forget to go check out, right? So I don't want anybody to miss that. So I'm sending out reminders. But when I was in there, hitting that huge goal that I told y'all about when I hit it, it allowed me to make my own referral code. And I know that's silly. But I was really excited about that because our referral codes standard are like a six digit number and sometimes it's hard to remember. So now I was able to just change it to crystal. So y'all, if you have friends that want Modair, you can just tell them to go to modair.com and use referral code crystal and it'll connect them to me. And I just thought that was so awesome because not everybody gets that. And I think that's super cool. Holy cow, this shin is tender. Making faces, heavy breathing, weird noises. It's all standard as part of blasting. It's, it's par for the course, okay? You're not alone. We all do it. Again, I've been doing this for years. When I first started, the first time I ever touched a blaster tool to my calves, it was instant tears in my eyes, like pouring, crying,
because the tissue was so bound and so tender that I couldn't even touch it. I had to blast in like five to 10 second increments every few days as it slowly started to kind of release some of that pressure and stop putting me in, you know, excruciating pain. So that's just your reminder. If you're new, it's totally normal to have spots that are super, super tender. And if you just stick with it, doing what you can, when you can, but do it consistently, the tissue will desensitize. And that's where this comes in handy or even the Pro Blaster, you can just tap, okay? And the tapping helps. I just have this tendency that if I'm doing something, I'm going all in on it, I'm gonna go ham. possibly a personality flaw, but it's okay. Alright. This muscle over here is sore. y'all ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow? We're not doing much. We tend to just stay home during the day. We've kind of sworn off the long, extensive traveling. And we go to my dad's house because they're local. They have to go to his in-laws during the day. And then we go over there in the evening. And that's it. We keep it super low key and easy. So I will be in my pajamas all day. No, I have not had lunch yet. You can eat the rest of the stuff that's in there. Back to Pro Blaster. Light, quick, flush it out. flush with hands. Over here the soreness is a little more back because every side is different. But now I'm about to go take a shower, have some lunch. Our Christmas lights are getting installed today. Oh that was weird. My little gravelly spot along the side here it just moved. <laughs> so those adhesions are definitely loosening up a little bit. They don't feel like they're stuck to my shin bone. They have a little wiggle to them. Progress. All right. I hope you all have an amazing Thanksgiving. I will talk to you soon. I am grateful for every single one of you. Thank you for hanging out with me and letting me be your little fascia guide. Have a good day.